Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem 5. Wait, Fire Emblem 5? <laughs> Civilization 5, not Fire Emblem 5. As Sephiel of Burn. So, in the last part, we uh, discovered some uh, neighbors, including Roy of Farah. He's like right next to us. That's funny. Marth is like to the east, and we also have Robin here uh, in Sake to the east as well. And there's so, I think. I think that's Erica? Yeah, that's Erica. She's all the way over there. Oh, if she's close to Ephraim, that's gonna be funny. Anyway, so Leon won't let me fucking pass, and I can't sign open borders, so I guess I'm going the other way then. I guess I'm going all the way around here. <laughs> Annoying as that might be, I don't really have any other choice, so that's what we're gonna do. Meanwhile, I'm just clearing away some barbarians from my territory. Erica wants to buy an embassy, but I don't have writing yet. I'm going to get it though. I will also become good friends with Akanaya. I'm glad to find others who enjoy their company. Yeah, yeah. Ephraim and Marth are getting along swimmingly. But yeah, we need to get writing so we uh, so we can get embassies up. Because people are really, really pestering me right now. <laughs> Alright, oh shit. No, I don't think I don't think uh, Roy Scout will go for the archer, so I think we're usually fine. We could <laughs> we could steal Robin's worker. That'd be hilarious, but no, we're not gonna do that. One of the disadvantages to not having uh, city states is that you can't steal their workers, which is something that I like doing. Everyone <laughs> wants to declare. <laughs> Sure, let's go. Let's get this started. <laughs> Ephraim has declared war on Erica. That is the most hilarious thing I have ever seen. Instantly attacks his sister. Oh my god, that is absolutely fantastic. I don't even know where they are, but I don't care. I must say yes to this war just because I was. So Leon is over here, but where is. Where is. Uh, we got. Narshan is all the way down here, like close to Arcadia. That's poetic justice as well. Like he was supposed to take down Arcadia. Where, where could, uh, where could Ephraim be? I actually don't know. Maybe he's next. I mean, if he wants to declare war on Erica, then surely he has to be close to Erica. It's the only solution. It's just, it's just so funny. Oh my god. Okay, this is iron down here, so we definitely want to expand here. We're gonna need a lot of iron for. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna take this guy down. Who's this? Oh, look, it's Alincia. She's in this game, of course. No, I don't wanna... I don't wanna get her... Do not wanna buy embassies with her. So, yeah. Alincia's all the way over here. Gango still wants that embassy with me. I guess he kinda likes me. Okay, so let's go and see if... Uh, let's see if Erica's getting attacked by her brother. <laughs> this is the best thing I've seen ever. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh shit, I just realized this barbarian might take over my work or not if I'm not careful. Okay, so we got a barbarian encampment right here that we need to take care of. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna send the settler down and expand right here. This seems like a pretty natural... Oh my god, imagine playing as the Incans and building a terrace farm right here. That'd be like one, two, three, four, five points of food. That's actually hilarious. Okay, so I actually want the scout to move away. Also, it seems like our civilian just got captured. I'm just gonna take it back. Okay, so it used to belong to Grotto. I'm still gonna take it, though. I, I don't want to return this to Leon, so... Okay, so now we have two quarries. I think we are working this. We should. We should be working it. Okay, so now we're getting five faith per turn. This is great. Let's go and get the... Get some iron as well. We also... I think I... I should probably just grab this marble before Marth takes it. Although, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get it first. Oh, what the actual... What? Oh, of course I'm at war. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I forgot that I'm at war with Erica. Oh my god. <laughs> I am fucking retarded. Oh my god. I completely forgot. Well, it looks like um it looks like Southtown's getting attacked. But wait a minute. Southtown belongs to Robin. Must be barbarians. I can't think of anyone else who might attack. Anyway, I'm gonna kill these archers for- Oh wait, there might be a path through the mountains here. If the if there are barbarians here, that means they might come from the south. So maybe we can actually go through this mountain pass to get back to our territory. That'd be great. 
We got an Elysian Scout coming in right there, and yeah, we are just going down here immediately. Wow, that's a lot of barbarians. Maybe we can actually kill the Scout. That'll be hilarious. Let's start to shoot on it. The Scout will never attack on its own. It will just defend itself. Okay, so now we need to think. Uh, what do we want in burn? We need a workboat, I think, to work this fish, as well as a granary to start working. Yeah, look at that. You can go through the mountain pass right here. That's great. That is great. Wait a minute, is that... Oh, Erica. I don't think... Okay, never mind. There she is. <laughs> I was like, she's not gonna move into my, my territory, but yes, sure she is. Though, you can be safe. Uh, enemy AIs will never do anything with their scouts. They'll never, like, capture workers or pillage or anything like that. Their scouts are always set to explore, so... Burn is starving? Oh, no. That's not good. Uh, that is not good at all. Oh, it's because of the fucking scout. Fucking hell. Get your scout out of there, you idiot. She's healing up. Fuck off. I'm gonna lose a citizen if this continues. Okay, I need to put the city on food focus now to prevent it from, uh, from... Shit! Okay, this is really bad. Okay, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna have to do this. Because if I don't do this, then Burn is actually going to starve and I'm gonna lose a citizen and you never want that. Alright, let's try to get our worker past here. Hopefully we won't run into Erica's units. Okay, so I don't... It doesn't seem like any of Erica's cities are getting attacked. Not that I can see it in there anyway. Though... If, she's, if she wants to sign for peace, then that means that the war is going badly. But she won't do it just yet. Although, I do wonder what kind of war theme uh, uh, Erica has. Ah, she just has the standard uh, fire emblem. <laughs> If I am to give in my all in this war, then so must you. Alright, you can't negotiate for another five turns. Da -da -da. Isn't this the final map song? Can this fucking scout get the fuck out? You're fucking me over. <laughs> This is actually really annoying. Also, I'm losing gold, and a lot of it. Okay, maybe we can, like... I don't want to shoot... If I shoot this archer, then this scout is going to take the encampment, but I'm not sure if I have any choice. Anyway, so I'm not sure if I should be settling further down. It might be more beneficial for me to settle here. But I don't know what kind of luxuries are over here. This is, um... Kinda tricky. But I think I'm gonna settle on point right here. Alright, so what should we grab in this city? We get a free monument, thanks to tradition, and uh, I think... We probably just want granaries. Okay, this scout is seriously pissing me off right now. <laughs> this scout is annoying the shit out of me. Alright, anyway, we need another attack. I think uh, optics might be good for the lighthouse, but I think most likely we want to go for the wheel. But we do need to get our science up. We're only getting eight science per turn now, which is pretty pathetic. I also would like to get the National College up sooner or later. Alright, so we can get an embassy with people right now. That's probably a good idea. A lot of embassies coming up here. Is, uh, where's Robin's capital? Is Southtown the capital? Oh no, there we go, Illistal, right here. So Robin's like in, in the center of Sake. Okay, let's kill the ship. We can actually, yeah, we can shoot it down completely. There we go. We, we're gonna have to do that too, because we, we don't want our fishing boats to suffer. Because I think we're, we're actually gonna have to go all the way around. Because this scout is just not moving. How is, uh, I think this is another one of uh, uh, Erica's cities, so... We, if she's getting attacked, we don't know how she's doing, but it actually seems like Ephraim... Wow, Ephraim's doing really poorly, actually. Erica is the second... second best leader in the game so far. So that's kind of hilarious. Guess, uh, Ephraim picked a fight he couldn't win. <laughs> Anyway, so I definitely want a farm up now, because Burn needs some food, and badly. So where's, uh, where's Alincia's capital? We just got an embassy with her. 
There she is, Meliorus all the way up here in north. This, I think, is, uh, this is close to Ilya, because you can see the snow right here. So she's like, northern Etruria, no wait, not Etruria doesn't border with Ilya. She's like northern Sake, Ilya, seems to be the case. Alright, burn. Should we just grab a library and burn? I think that's what we're gonna do. This scout will probably die next turn. Alright, finally. Let's just uh, go full food focus. Actually, I feel like we should really lock these two tiles. But at the same time, I'm not sure if we can. No, we can't. There we go. 32 turns to grow. Not great. But I want the faith from the quarries, you see. Because I want my religion. The religion would be really good right about now. A Canadian caravan. Looks like Roy just settled Laos next to us. Okay, I have no choice. I have to shoot on this stupid barbarian encampment, or this stupid scout will never move. But the scout is going to move over the encampment now and take it over. No, wait, he's fortifying. Okay. Can you. Okay, never mind. There's another, there's another barbarian. Okay, fine. Oh, no, it's not dead yet. Jesus Christ. Well, the workers are coming home, finally. We are actually losing a lot of gold. Okay, so now she actually wants peace. But she doesn't want to give me anything for it. I guess we can we can sign peace with her. Uh, we can finally figure out where... Oh, cool. We got Cephiel's war music for some reason. So Castle Renace is actually over here. Doesn't seem like the war with... Uh... Are they still at war? Da, 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 da. Uh, it seems like she is at war? Yeah, they are still at war. So I guess we'll figure out... Hey, do we have a, uh, do we have a uh, embassy with er with uh, Ephraim? We do not. Let's get an Ephra uh, embassy with Ephraim and see how he's doing. He's very close to Erika. <laughs> his city, his city is called Border Mulan. He did not get Rene. Sad face. Alright, let's get a farm going. And here's our second worker. That means we can probably send this worker down to uh, Remy. Okay, so that scout successfully took out the encampments. Oh wait, did we get to kill the scout? We didn't get to kill the scout. I should have waited. I should have fucking waited. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, that's so stupid. I should have fucking waited. Oh well. Anyway. Let's uh, shoot down the spearman. I think maybe going for construction would be good here. I don't think we need trapping, because there's no camps around our city. Getting construction up quickly would allow us to get composite bowmen, which would be immensely helpful. Anyway, let's go, go build some farms. We should probably build a farm next to this river right here. Burn desperately needs some more food if it's to grow, so... Da, da, da. But we're gonna send this guy down to Remy to get the copper up. And we're gonna send this uh, worker to uh, Garrison and burn. Oh shit, I should have shot it down with my archers. That was kind of kind of dumb. Anyway, time to get landed elites. That's gonna give us uh, some extra growth and food in the capital. So now burn's gonna grow in nine turns. We can probably... <laughs> I will always be eternally grateful for the kindness you've given me. Please let me repay the favor. Let us pledge an alliance towards the peaceful... Sure, you dumb bitch. I just attacked you, and you're like, I love you. Well, talk about Stockholm Syndrome. I believe a friendship will only benefit us in the future, so what do you say? Sure. I don't mind, Robin. We can be friends. I imagine uh, Ephraim's not gonna like that all too much, though. Alright, let's send this guy down to... I think we want, want the copper first. Also, we're at two, two happiness right now, and we're still losing gold, which is not great. But right now, thanks to Oliarchy, we garrisoned our warriors in Burn. <laughs> she wants to give us... Did she just giggle? I didn't see what she said there. I'm glad others see good in the least. They're a valuable friends and ally if the need arises. Still haven't denounced us yet for, for uh, declaring friendship with a sister. I feel I have learned a lot from you. More so, perhaps, than any book could. Would you care to be my friend by singing a declaration? Oh. Signing a declaration of friendship, not singing it. Not, not sing, not si we're not singing the declaration. That's that's a good thing, I guess. All right, so it doesn't seem like there's any luxuries down here in Southern Burn, so I'm pretty happy we didn't settle closer down. Ba, ba, ba. 
we're gonna get our library into return. So this was something I neglected with Roy, I feel. I did not build a library anywhere near as soon as I should. I'm playing on Immortal now, so I can't play on optimally. I need to need to really go for science early on. You really have no choice but to prioritize those buildings if you want to set yourself up for a good, uh, good mid-game. Alright, uh, Lee Sin Scout is uh, mucking about. So, I think uh, we're working this tile right here. We should probably build a farm here, though. That's going to be a better farm. But let's build it first. We're going to accept that. So, uh, Gangrel is all the way over here. I think this is... He's on the Western Isles. I'm pretty sure he's on the Western Isles. If I'm not completely mistaken. Also, Roy, could you move the fuck away? I'm trying to explore. Jesus Christ. Alright, so the uh, the library is up. I think the next thing we'll go for is a water mill. That's going to give us two food and one production. So that's really good. We are probably going to set the city on food focus for the time being. So we can grow up big and large. Although we are close to hitting unhappiness. So we got to get this copper immediately if we want to fix that. Da -da -da. Also, I don't see any other viable city locations for the time being. There might be someone popping up. We should probably get some ships and explore, because there's probably a lot of water on this map. But yeah, I'm a little bit worried about gold at the moment. We are losing gold pretty steadily. We The problem is we haven't met any city-states that have given us like a boost to gold. Uh, when you remove city-states, that's kind of a big bonus that you lose immediately, which is kind of annoying. Alright, so Robin is apparently the most wonderful person. Both Robin and Erica have built a wonder each. That's kind of cool. Gangrel has built none. Well, I have I have not built any wonders either, so I guess I can't laugh at him. Currently, we're still uh, the lowest. Narshin is actually the second lowest, and Gangrel's not doing great either. You know what they say. You know what they say. It takes a maggot to beat one. Won't you help me out against Leon? <laughs> nope. I am not declaring war on my friend Gangrel. I'm sorry. It was too hilarious when, er when Ephraim did it, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna declare war on someone that I've made a declaration of uh, friendship with, because that gives you a huge backstabber penalty, and you don't want that. <laughs> Ouch! We are really okay. Embassy with Narshan. That's fine. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. So how long until we get the mine? One more turn. So I think this should be okay. We I think like the moment we we built this mine. We can probably work it too, I think. Uh, although that's gonna stop the city from growing, which is not great. But we need to do it if we're. We don't want to go. We don't want to lose gold because if we do that, then uh, our soldiers are gonna start abandoning us, and that's not good at all. Now there's no city states to trade with, sadly. But we're gonna have to get a caravan up and trade with Marth. I think that it might be good. All right, so we got construction. That's good. Uh, let's lock this tile, maybe? Oh, it's still working, this tile. I guess we should lock this tile instead. And continue to build farms along the coastline. I don't see any other very viable expansion locations. I mean, we could expand here, but there's no fish here, so the city is going to be very small. We might want to go for optics and get a lighthouse up. I think that might be a good idea. Not trapping. Optics. I think optics and then philosophy might be a good idea. So we could get the National College up quickly. I think that's going to be very good, actually. Okay, so now we got copper. So we're up to five happiness. That's good. We can also go and grab this quarry if we want to. I think that might help us out a lot as well. Because that's going to give us extra faith. We're getting three faith per turn right now. So the prospects of getting a religion is looking... Oh, never mind. I take that back. This might be a good location after all. Look at this. I've declared it's a good idea to befriend the leader of Renee. They are your ally after all, so I believe I can trust them. Hee <laughs> Wait, what? You mean... You mean... Oh, she just signed a declaration of friendship with Ephraim. Aw, good to see that siblings can uh, stop fighting and become friends, I guess. <laughs> that's... Oh my god, it's so funny that Ephraim attacked Erica. Being on such good ter good terms, I couldn't help but notice that you become friends with Rene. It's kind of confusing to have two Renes in the same civilization because you don't know exactly who he's talking about, but it's most likely Erika is talking about. But yeah, um, come to think of it, this might not be such a bad city after all. The only problem I have is that there's no fish here. So the city will struggle with its size. Um, 
but I do like the iron and stone, and because I am burn, the mountains do give me some food and hammers. So maybe it can actually be a viable city after all. Maybe I should go for the dragon's table. I mean, 15 turns is not that big of an investment. If I put the city on production focus, I'm gonna get it in 9. You know what, fuck it, we're gonna go for the dragon's table. We need food. And it also gives culture and faith, which would be very nice, and nobody else has built it yet. It requires tradition, that's probably why. Fuck it, we're going for it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Notice how long the turn of the barbarians are. This is actually hilarious. Yeah, I think uh, if we settle here, right here on the spot, that might be good. Um, that's still gonna give us three resources that we're all gonna need. And the mountains are gonna be great. Again, there might be some fish over here that I haven't scouted yet. There's, that's definitely an uh, definitely a possibility. Anyway, we're gonna grab a... I'm gonna build libraries really quickly. Uh, and I'm gonna get the National College up as soon. Oh crap, we're losing gold again. Uh, that is not good. Do we, did we not lock these tiles? We did. This is not great. I'm wondering maybe... Oh, we can try to sell our iron. He does not want to give us anything for the iron. How about Robin? Robin doesn't have anything. Uh, how about er Erica? She has some money. How about 82 gold and 5 gold per turn? That sound like a good deal to you? I can give you open borders, that's fine. Okay, good. We just needed some cash, and we did not need that iron right now, so... We're not gonna build our Viron Lords just yet, so I think this is okay. Okay, actually we... Should we just get a road going? I mean, we don't really have any improvements that we need to make right now. Ooh, look, a ruin! A ruin that we haven't gotten yet! Oh my god, we should probably just go grab that with our warriors immediately. Eight turns. I don't... Do we have the ability to embark yet? I don't think we do, do we? No, we, we need optics for that. But nobody else is gonna come snag this ruin from us. If it hasn't been taken yet, it's not gonna be taken, so... It's probably gonna be fine. Wow. Barbarian warships in a little lake. That is, uh, that is quite hilarious. But yeah, I am just gonna get that road going, I think. I mean, I don't... This, these cities aren't big enough to warrant any more improvements right away, so... There's really no point in doing anything but building a road right now, unless I just want the workers to sit around and do nothing. Because this city is level 5, so you can only really work 5 tiles. As you can see, I got some improvements right here that are just draining money and not really giving me anything. So you don't really want to build the improvements too quickly. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, the dragon's table just got snatched. Uh, okay, fine. Go back to food focus. Yeah, that was too good to be true, I guess. I would never get that, but still, I'm kind of sad. I really wanted to get that, but that means that when I eventually conquer Marth, <laughs> that means that I'll get the dragon's table then. So I guess it's guess it's not all that bad. Anyway, those horsemen are worrying me. So Robin's expanding quite a lot. So is Erica. I do believe, yeah, Ephraim is right here. They're gonna fight all game. Gangrel's kind of left to his own little. He's kind of left on his own over at the Western Isles, which is actually good for him. Narshan's over here. I wonder if there's anyone who has spawned down in the Nambata Desert. If not, it's gonna be like crawling with barbarians down there. Holy shit. It's gonna be like the, um... It's gonna be like the place with the Fountain of Youth in the last let's play. The, uh... The Ice Tribe Village. It's like just barbarians all over the fucking place. Look at that. You can actually go through here. That's interesting. To be fair, there might be some... Maybe I can expand next to this lake. To get, like, a forward city to attack Marth from. Um, okay. I don't want horses, I'm afraid. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, but no. Alright, the barbarians are not attacking. That's good. Uh, but yeah, I think this will be my next city. This will most likely be my next city. And then I think I'll just stay at three cities, actually. I don't really see it. I mean, it could be that I could have expanded up here, but Roy is kind of expanded here with Laos, so I can't really do that. Although I'm kind of regretting it now. Strong friends and allies can do nothing but benefit us in the long run. Sure. We can be friends. That's fine. I don't mind. Okay, so burn. About to turn into... About to level up to six. Uh, we probably want a barracks eventually. Great Lighthouse might be good. I mean, it's gonna give us the ship's extra movement and line of sight, which could be good if we're gonna do naval warfare. 
15 turns to build a great lighthouse might not be such a good idea, though. I think that, uh, actually, you know what? I want to build a trireme. Oh, there's some barbarians coming. We should pro- You know what? I'm gonna get that barracks up, and then I'm gonna build a composite bowman. And then I'm going to- Ooh, cargo ship. And then I'm gonna build a trireme. We actually need to get some military units out, even though our gold is not looking great. The leader of Akanaya has told me that you become friends with him. What a- what a pleasant little alliance. Kee <laughs> why is she giggling so much? I can't remember Erica giggling that much. Why is she acting like a little kid? But yeah, shit's going down in Sake. Robin, Ephraim, and Erica are all kind of vying for the same territory. God, these barbarians never stop spawning. Guess that's what happens when you select raging barbarians. But yeah, we're getting 20 science per turn, and I think we might go for National College before before we settle our third city. Just get it up super quick. That's usually what I like doing. So I think that's exactly what we will be doing. Anyway, these barbarians will all die eventually. Although I guess we could just farm culture on them. There's no... Also, I'm, I just... Um, I just realized that my Viver Knights are going to be insane in this rough territory. Like, if I... I can use my Viver Knights against Marth... Because they just move through rough terrain like it's nothing. So I can do some insane hit and run attacks. Uh, especially over these mountains and stuff like that. I can fly over, back and forth between the mountains. So that's actually going to be really good. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm definitely going to utilize the Viber Knights to the greatest of my ability. I don't think they'll be like the Paladins. They'll not, they'll not be anywhere near as broken as the Paladins. But still, it's going to be fun to see how good they are. <laughs> ah. Oh, look, more barbarians. Declaration of Friendship has expired. Uh, yeah, we are no longer best best of buddies with Rene. <laughs> Whichever of the twins, I am not aware. Because they're both named the same fucking thing. Leon is next to... Uh, oh, look at that. Leon is like a stone throw away from uh, Gangrel. That's not going to be fun for Leon, I think. Although Gangrel's not doing too hot. Erica's doing great, though. Holy shit, 307 points. She is dominating. She might become the runaway Civ of the game. That would be interesting to see. Anyway, the road is soon completed, so that's gonna be good. Maybe I should just expand here. But I should crush Laos first before I do that. Oh, look, we also got some marble. That's great. Looks like Marth is clearing out this hand axe. And Marth just completed the Parthenon, so he's spamming wonders like crazy. Alright, let's grab Monarchy. That's gonna help out our gold issues for sure. And the barracks is about done. Burn's gonna have so much production, it's gonna be absolutely massive, but we need to grow it, and we need to grow it fast. Uh, I'm not sure if I should work... Uh, maybe I shouldn't force these tiles to be worked. There could be better tiles. But it doesn't look like it's gonna be that for now, so I think we'll keep this up. We could do this and see... No, it wants to work that tile because of the food focus. So let's get a farm over there immediately. Let's grow this city. We have six happiness right now, so it's going pretty well. That scout stole the barbarian encampment like a little bitch. And I think once we got this, uh, once we got this composite bowman, we'll probably go for the National College. That's gonna give us 50% extra science. And then we're going to build a trireme, I think. We also have the library right here. You should definitely build a national college as soon as you can. I know, let's send this guy back. Let's see what's going on with Mart, shall we? Mart's doing pretty well, so he might not be such an ideal target. Roy is currently right under Alinsha when it comes to points. Stoneworks, maybe? That's gonna give us extra extra production from marble and stone. I think that's a natural building to go for next. Also in burn. It also gives us some happiness, which is nice. The road is about done, so it's going to give us some gold. It's going to make it easier for our units to move between them. And we should also go and improve this marble. If we improve the marble, we can actually sell it. And I do believe we, we can get some good deals for that. If we uh, if we, we can maybe sell, sell uh, Robin. Oh, Erica's getting 9 gold per turn. She has 140 gold. Elinch has 382 gold. She's doing really well. So that might be viable. So Robin, apparently, the... Oh, no, wait. Roy is the busiest person. He's producing t 10 hammers in total. Mars also very busy. We're doing well, though. We're number seven. 
We're number seven with seven. Wouldn't you know? That's weird. Anyway, let's go and get a farm over here. It's nice that we have some flat ground around burn to build farms on, or else we would never grow anywhere. I seem to have a nice, decent mix of food and production in uh, in our two cities. That's good. Wow. What the fuck? Grotto just... <laughs> Leon just got fucking trashed by Gangrel. Holy shit. Okay, gang the Gangrel warmongering has begun, guys. Gangrel warmongering has begun. He is uh he is He just fucking took Grado Keep. Come crawling back to this hole known as Plague already. Well, if you're looking for something to do, might I suggest visiting the Grim Lael? They are friendly, I assure you. Wow, okay. That was a quick war. Holy shit, okay. So he might go for Narshan next. I do believe the person who made the Narshan mod said that he was one of the... No, uh, the, the, the guy who made the uh, Gangrel mod said that he was one of the most aggressive leaders. So, uh, we need to think about what to go for next. I think uh, the, the logical choice would be to go for civil service. Uh, but we also want metal casting, but I think civil service want to go for first because that gives us extra food from farms But uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good part to or good part to make a make a place good place to make a cut Do give this uh, video a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. It really helps out the channel a lot Will Gangrel stop at Grotto Keep? I don't think so Maybe he can take Farrah for us. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe he can be like a war ally. That'd be great. So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, LP so far. I certainly am. And as always, I shall see you guys next time. Goodbye.